Welcome to Planet Pals Learning. Hi pals! Today we're going on a trip to Sudbury, located in Northern Ontario in Canada. Sudbury has 330 lakes. That's a lot of lakes. We had a lot of fun, right Teddy? Yes we did, and we learned a lot. That's right. We visited the Big Nickel. We also paid a visit to the Science North, which is a really cool science center. Sudbury is on a very old part of a land called the Canadian Shield. So you're able to see some really cool rocks. Sudbury is full of awesome rocks. You can see them just along the roadways. The Sudbury area has one of the largest concentrations of mines in the world. Because the area has so many cool rocks and rare minerals, Sudbury's mines are more commonly known for nickel, copper, and of course, Sudbury ore. Sudbury's landscape was built on a giant space rock that hit the earth over a billion years ago. This space rock is the reason why Sudbury has all these opportunities for mining. But to get these minerals, it comes at a cost to the environment. We're here to learn about pollution, but more importantly, how one community came together to make a difference. So first, we need to know what pollution is. Pollution. It's a hard topic, but pollution is really just anything that makes the environment dirty and unhealthy for people, animals, and plants. Like trash on the ground or smoke in the air. For almost 100 years, Sudbury was dealing with one type of pollution, acid rain. Acid rain is like normal rain, just with a little too much acid in it. Sudbury is a mining town. In Sudbury, acid rain was caused by the smelting of nickel and copper. In Sudbury, the acid rain got rid of all the trees and made the soil too acidic, so it couldn't grow anything else. It created almost like a moonscape that NASA sent astronauts to train in Sudbury before the moon landing. The pollution used to come from this super stack. The idea was not only to release the pollution into the air, but to blow it away. However, as we've learned in what is an ecosystem, our ecosystems are all connected, so sending the pollution away really didn't work. A bunch of scientists came together and used chemistry. They created something called the Sudbury Recipe. They used limestone to neutralize the acid and bring back Sudbury's green landscapes. Science can be really cool, but also very helpful. Sudbury shows that if we all work together, we can make our world shine bright again. So let's take care of our world, and it will take care of us. Well, that's it for today. Thank you for watching Planet Pals Learning. Oh, hi pal. Thank you for watching our YouTube video. Be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you.